thanksgiving for a favor received. One must not only consider matters of great importance as happy events, those least in appearance are often the ones that have the most influence on our destiny. People easily forget the good and remember especially what afflicts them. If we would recall every day the benefits we have received without having asked for them, we would often be surprised at the number that have slipped our memory, and we would be humbled by our ingratitude. Each night as we lift our soul to God, we should remember the favors granted during the day and give thanks for them. Moreover, it is especially at the moment when we feel the effects of God's goodness and protection that we should, in a spontaneous gesture, render thanks. In this case, it is sufficient to elevate a thought attributing the benefit to God without having to disrupt our work. God's benefits do not consist only in material things. We should also give thanks for the good ideas and the happy inspirations that are suggested to us. While the proud attribute the merit to themselves and disbelievers attribute them to chance, those who have faith render thanks to God and the good spirits. For this, long phrases are not necessary. Thank you, my God, for the good thought you have inspired me with, says more than a lot of words. The spontaneous impulse that makes us attribute to God the good that comes to us bears witness to a habit of acknowledgement and humility that attracts the sympathy of good spirits. The Prayer Infinitely good God, may your name be blessed for the benefits you have bestowed on me. I would be unworthy of them if I attributed them to chance or my own merit. Good spirits who have carried out God's will, and especially you, my guardian angel, I give you thanks. Keep me from the thought of being proud for what I have received, or of using it for something that is not good. I thank you particularly for 